Hi everyone. We're finally getting to do our question and answer video. Just for those of you that may not know us, I'm Kirsty, like Kier, Beer, Pier, Kirsty. It's a Swedish name. I'm named after my third great grandma and that's Joe, which you probably hear me say his name a lot on the video, so that's probably not a problem. But my name is Kirsty. <laughs> We've been living full time in a fifth wheel, a 30 foot fifth wheel. <laughs> And Joe's been working as a traveling physical therapist. So we've moved around the country for the last four years in a fifth wheel. Kind of fun. So we started traveling. I was pregnant with our first baby. And so we've lived in Washington State. We've lived in Northern California a couple of different times. Louisiana, Western Nebraska in the Panhandle. And we've also, we're from like Utah Valley area, but we've also spent six months in St. George working. As far as a fixer upper, um, it's actually been on our dream board. Like when we started traveling four years ago, I wrote a dream board for like our family and it's just been like up in our bathroom in our trailer and a fixer upper has been on that. So that's something that has like, it wasn't just something like random, like, oh, maybe we should do that. Like, we thought about it. It's been kind of something that we wanted to do in the future. I honestly thought it was going to be quite a bit more in the future. I didn't think it was going to be like, now it popped up sooner than I thought it would. But I, I really feel like God has led us to each of our travel contracts. We've like been led to those just specific places and where we've lived and who we've like met, where Joe's worked. And I feel like this fixer upper has kind of been the same thing. Like we were kind of led, led here. I don't know. It's, it's been working out pretty well, even though it's a lot of hard, hard work. So anyway, would you agree with that? I mean, I think it's just random. <laughs> Joe's more of like, it's day. just random. <laughs> anyway, so. It was random. We bought a house in the state i've never been in the city i've never seen house i've never even walked into yeah but it was low risk it was fun we just wanted a home base for some of our stuff and a place to kind of like definitely wouldn't have bought it probably without the property on it so we had just been kind of looking because of everything that had gone on since covid we'd just been kind of looking for fun like at cheap houses all over the country obviously Utah is not one of those places so we were not looking like pretty much anywhere in the west it was mostly like West Virginia different states in the midwest which is where we ended up so I don't know we'd been looking for a few months just for like fun and one night Joe was on realtor and this place popped up and he's like what do you think of this? I was like, it's kind of cute. And they're like only two pictures. We only had two pictures of this place, like the front of the house. And then like the shed that was like tilted and that's all. And then Google maps, like whatever we could see on Google maps, which everything was so overgrown, you couldn't even see anything <laughs> pretty much. So that's all we saw the property before we bought it. And everything just kind of fell into place within like two or three days. And we sent them a check. Mm. dreamed about finding treasure we came out at the end of february from nebraska and we just had like four months to like imagine all the horrors that we were gonna find or like all the amazing treasures we we're gonna find gold on the property <laughs> an old sweet car in the garage bank robber lived there or something. <laughs> yeah so that was honestly super fun i think just being able to imagine what we were gonna find i think honestly and i've told joe this like if we had come and seen this place in person before we bought it like i think i would have been like mm, i'm gonna pass it's it's scary like if you were to see something like that i don't know maybe for six thousand bucks we still would have done it but yeah i mean it's just a pull the trigger that's why it's best not to even look at the house before you buy it <laughs> yeah had, you don't the only know. reason we did it because it had a metal roof. That's the only reason I would have done it without seeing it. Another question that we get often is Joe working every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> yes, we're both working overtime, full time. But is Joe working as a physical therapist? No. 
He's not doing any physical therapy work right now. Our plan was to be here into the fall from the very beginning. So we didn't have any intentions at all working. So the timeline the like time that we thought maybe it would work like PRN or something. Yeah, I mean we thought like okay, once we get the house kind of fixed like cleaned up a little bit, maybe Joe will work some like PRN shifts like at the hospital. He has no desire to do that right now, which is fine. <laughs> What's the eye roll? No. You don't. You don't want to do any for PT right now, which is totally fine. Yeah, I got enough to do right now. The budget is the less money we spend, the longer we get to stay here <laughs> without working. And grand. <laughs> Joe grand. thinks he can do the whole house with ten thousand dollars. Well, if I, if I do all myself, yeah. But my budget, what I've told him, I was like, I think we could make this a really sweet place with like twenty-five to thirty grand, and make it like really awesome. But I think in my mind, like the budget is like totally everything, like furniture, appliances, like our decks, the barn, like everything in the yard. That's like my twenty-five to thirty. But I think. Your ten grand is like just the house, right? Yeah, just like, but house. no appliances or anything like that. Yeah, I didn't really think about the appliances. I'm talking about like the wood, the insulation, the piping, anything to make the house like livable. Yeah, and electricity. So our budgets are different, but they also are including different things. So we're just like living off of our savings right now. A lot of people are like, oh, you could get a loan to do a renovation and stuff like that. And we're like, no. On a $6,000 house, no. Mm -hmm. Probably no way. if I was working, I could just pay someone to do it. But it's just, there's no fun in that, you know. You, just, you don't have to go work every day. You can just wake up and walk outside and feel what I feel and see what I want to do that day. <laughs> Joe's honestly, like, living his dream life, I feel like, right now. Like... Today we put in the garden. The day before that, I ripped out a lot of nasty crap. Yeah. But if I work for the man, I should do what they say. Or what they want you to do. Every yeah. day. Basically, right now, we have freedom. We can do whatever we want, whenever we want, and it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, will we live here full-time is another question we've gotten a lot. And as of right now, no. We don't have plans on being here in the winter time. We do have to go back to work eventually, you know, save up some more money and things like that. So we've been living in a trailer for four years, so our living expenses are obviously low. And so we can get away with this, which is one of the reasons we wanted to travel. We can work a lot less time out of the year and have a lot more time to play and things like that. So we don't have plans on being here full time. And are we flipping the house? No, we also don't have plans on flipping it or selling it. We plan on keeping it. Yeah. I mean, you can always sell eventually, but yeah, maybe he was sitting. He was sitting on the, with us, not using it for a few years. We thought he could sell it, but yeah, if we end up buying another fixer up in South Carolina. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. How did we find the property and where are we located? So we just found it on Realtor. It was on Zillow as well. Uh, Realtor look up ten thousand dollar house <laughs> or less, and you'll find what craps out there. Keep looking until you find one that you think you can handle. Yeah, that's how we found it. Smaller the better if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, seriously, if this place was any bigger, like if the house was any bigger, and more property than half an acre, like. Mm, that's a lot. Where we are located, we are located in the Midwest. If you know me personally, go ahead and message me and I'll be happy to tell you where we are. But Yeah, no creepers. <laughs> so this is kind of funny. Once we got to the property, we'd learned that both of our neighbors, like across the street and next to us, they had tried to buy this property. It had gone up already, like on a county auction or something like that, for a thousand dollars. And they had both tried to get it and then all of a sudden it was like gone and they couldn't get it. And so the property management company that we bought it from, because it was a tax foreclosure house, um, it had some back taxes and stuff on the water line. <laughs> so on the sewer line, actually. So anyway, we ended up playing, paying $5,900 for it. 
so we got ripped off. The property size is a half acre. The house is like 900 square feet-ish, almost. It was listed at like 877 or something. Yeah. The, the mess in the house was from both hoarding and neglect. Depends on what your definition of hoarding is. Also that. A man's life treasures, is that really hoarding? <laughs> I found like 15 belt buckles. Is that hoarding to you? And a hundred so. boxes of shredded wheat, empty shredded wheat, and like hundreds of empty water jugs. Beatles cassette? Would you throw yours away? <laughs> and then from what we understand, the house has also sat empty for like six or seven years. So there have definitely been animals living in there, tons of raccoons. If you've been watching the videos and have seen, there has been so much raccoon poop everywhere. Yeah. Quite fun. The backstory on the house is that I like want to be respectful of like who's lived here and who was living here. So I don't want to like this really, but we've just basically heard that it was kind of a grumpy old man that was living here, an alcoholic. Wasn't very friendly. <laughs> we have also heard that once he passed away, he didn't die in the house. Like someone took him in to like take care of him that lives near here lady friend of sorts we've heard both things i don't really know <laughs> so she took him in to take care of him before he died i guess he ended up dying from like copd so he died from smoking actually not even from drinking but his children did come in and like go through the house and take what they wanted out of it and then they just left it there because it was going to cost more for them to like clean it up and sell it than it was going to be like so that's what I've heard. I we haven't met any of their children, his children. Like we've had lots of people come by and stop and say hi, and I've met one person that knows like a grandson of his in the area. We did pay like five. It was listed as like eight hundred dollars in back taxes on the sewer, but we ended up when I went to go pay it at the county offices, it was only like five hundred bucks. So that was good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that works. Was someone living in it in that condition? Probably not that bad, but not as worse. Yeah, most people have told us that they like never seen the fool in that house since he's lived there. Like if they have ever come over, like people in town, they're like, "Oh yeah, I've never seen the fool," or "You should just knock the house down; it's not worth it." So it was probably close to that. I don't know. <laughs> At what point did we decide to tear everything apart and fix it all instead of starting completely over? Will there be a point that we will decide to tear it down? Yeah. We never had plans on tearing it all down unless there was like something so crazy, but we never, because our, our goal is to do it as cheaply as possible, right? And materials are cost so much right now to tear down a house right now. And then you have to pay to like get rid of the stuff you tore down and then you have to buy all new materials. Like that was never our intentions um, in fixing up this house. I enjoy fixing things. Just I don't like tearing things down. I mean, if it's if it's total disgusting, yeah, but I don't think I need to live in a perfect house. I grew up in a crooked house. I'm <laughs> okay with crooked houses. That's not perfect. But as long as the floor doesn't cave in, put a few pictures on the wall, and you'll be <laughs> good luck when you're at home, you know? And if it doesn't smell too bad, you're good. It's a little more put together than an RV, so... You know, yeah, we've been. Our work. expectations are low. Just remember that we've been living in like, what year is our? I said two thousand five fifth wheel. So our expectations are low. <laughs> anyway, so our fifth wheels are crappy. It doesn't matter. It's two thousand five. Yeah, that's true. So at this point, all the work that we put into it, no, we will not be tearing it down. <laughs> Is there anything we are planning to hire out or hire to have done? As of right now, not really. I just want to build everything out of the junk I found. Which mostly he has done. Like literally, we have bought like nothing, pretty much. We bought very few tools. I and... traded two giant metal containers for two different types of saws. And he's been trading crap with people like from the back. Like someone's like, I'll give you this for this. Like someone wanted like 
a part of the bottom trailer he cut off and gave Joe a Saza. I don't know. So Joe's like traded and gotten stuff. He's found like anything that he could use to fix the house that he found when he was going through all the crap at the beginning. He's used and we will continue to use that stuff. So like what have we bought? I'm trying to think. I had a list of stuff that we had bought. A chainsaw. We bought a chainsaw that a was a hundred bucks. Shop bu shop back was fifty bucks. We did buy a used lawnmower just barely for a hundred bucks. A few like smaller things here and there, and we've probably spent a couple hundred bucks on plaster right now, and like those tools. I don't know. We've spent money, but like nothing crazy. So anyway. So yeah. Thank you.